been a pretty long saga here. I actually ended up flying, taking an airline flight to go home for a couple weeks. While they kept working on the plane, they did an annual as well. Basically, we did all the wiring and the alternator still failed. So now we put the alternator on that had been on for like three years before this problem started. So now I'm gonna go fly to Wichita. Hopefully the alternator works. Uh, it's either going to put you left in the weather or right into a bombing range. When I tried to put the yoke over to the right side so I would have more room, the autopilot kicked off and the circuit breaker popped. Okay, so we're expecting some wind shear we're coming into Wichita. Okay, so we're heading Delta one five out terminal. of uh, uh, Gillespie, please. finally. Hopefully the, the uh, Delta one five Gillespie alternator is going to keep working now. Bravo. Controls, instruments, gas, attitude. Run up, we just did. Seatbelt switch to safety. Everything's in the green, everything is looking good. And Tower Bonanza 367 Hotel Pop is ready to go to IFR 27 right. In Bonanza 7 Hotel Pop, runway 27 right, cleared for takeoff. 27 right, cleared for takeoff. Bonanza 367 Hotel Pop. Wow, this is such an awesome airport. And uh, I'm kind of sad to be leaving. I wish I would have had some time to actually fly around out here. Um, but this is just the way it. it worked out, you know, sometimes these sorts of problems take a lot longer to track down than you expect. Okay, this is going to be a right turn, 165. So far, everything's looking good. Traffic, 11 o'clock, same altitude, zero miles. Perfect. So that guy's just on his departure roll there. We're going to pass him easily. Traffic, 7 o'clock, same altitude, less than one mile. November 7, Hotel Papa, turn right, right turn heading 340, vectors for your climb. November 7, Hotel Papa, climb and maintain 1, 1000, contact LA Center 128.6, good day. 1,000, LA 128.6, Bonanza 7, Hotel Papa, good day. Yeah, so they ended up doing, I had them do a whole three annual three in addition to replacing the alternator one more time, which seems to have been the solution. Three they also three replaced three all the wiring, but that didn't seem to do anything. Now the alternator works, at least for the moment, again. Really, though, it, it's like a whole new airplane. I mean, these guys are just really good. They're super detail-oriented, and some of the squawks included things like the carpet was dirty. And so, but I mean, lots of other little, like, you know, meaningful things, too, like, like some bushings on the landing gear uh, hadn't been lubricated properly in the past, and so they had to replace those and lubricate them, or, you know, like, little uh, things where the gear doors weren't rigged quite perfectly, stuff like that. But most importantly, they finally got, they have kind of been a little, I don't know, a little stiffness in the ailerons, uh, and they figured that out. Nobody else could quite, they were like, oh, it's too hard, we'll do it, you know, at the next annual, and they've been saying that for years. And uh, these guys just have it, so, I mean, it's just, it's so smooth on the controls. I mean, it, just, it feels like a whole different airplane. And they also balance the prop, and so the engine is just a lot smoother. The flight controls are a lot smoother. Just everything is a lot smoother, and it's, it's fantastic. Air 7 Hotel Papa contact, Yuma Approach 24.7. 124.7, Bonanza 7 Hotel Papa, good day. Yuma Approach, Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa, 11000. Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa, Yuma Approach, altimeter 2979. 2979. Altogether, it'll be a little over six hours today to Wichita. It's like 1,100 miles or something. But there's also a little bit of weather along the way, so we'll see. Might have to go around some stuff when we get up in here towards like, uh, I don't know, around like Albuquerque and, yeah, Albuquerque and uh, Las Vegas, New Mexico, that area there. Got a little bit of stuff here uh, that you can see out the window, and it's just kind of on our route and moving with us. Albuquerque, Santa Bonanza, 367 Hotel, Papa, 1-1000. Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa, Alcurry Center, Phoenix, Altimeter 2984. 2984, and any chance for a shortcut like direct Phoenix or something? Number uh, 7 Hotel Papa, I have your request, stand by. Number 7 Hotel Papa, clear, oh. direct Phoenix. Direct Phoenix, 75, thanks. That's a nice shortcut. So, Phoenix was 120 miles away, now it's only... 103 miles away, so that just shaves off, you know, 20 miles. 
with some lightning in that cloud. So that's Phoenix up there. 367 Hotel Papa Phoenix. 367 Hotel Papa, go ahead. Today in the 7 Hotel Papa, in about uh, 25 miles, I can get you direct St. John. Would you prefer that? Yeah, 7 Hotel Papa, yeah, we'd probably prefer that. Uh, right, right, right. But in the 367 Hotel Papa, you can expect that. Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa, clear direct St. John. Direct St. John's, Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa. Center Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa. 36, I think that was number 367 Hotel Papa. Yeah, I was just wondering if, you know, if the Pecos MOA is active tonight. The Pecos MOA? Yeah. Let's take a look. I'm not sure. That's quite a ways out. I'm not sure if it's active, but uh, the next controller, if not the one after him, might give you some better information on which way you might go. There's some weather east of uh, Albuquerque. I'm not sure how people are getting through there. Uh, that, that would be your, between you and the Pecos area. Okay, yeah, that's what we were looking at. Just wondering if we'll uh, likely be able to go south of that. Okay, yeah, the White Sands Missile Range is active south of it. Um, It'd be kind of a hard turn after Albuquerque area to get south of it, but uh, it does look like it's active now that I see it, now that I'm looking out far enough. Okay, we're going to pause you guys for just a second. I'm going to use the facilities. He's inside American uh, 633. What's happening? Uh, inside Southwest 2038. Okay, so we just had the autopilot circuit breaker go. Let's see, uh, see what the problem was. Okay, so you guys didn't see that. I had the that camera off because I was taking a leak. But uh, when I tried to put the yoke over to the right side so I would have more room, the autopilot kicked off and uh, the circuit breaker popped. And then I you know, reset it. Kinda, sometimes it pulls a little to the right and left, to the right that's over there. Um, so I, you know, just waited, kind of got it nice and good, but it uh, it still went off. Just, you know, popped again. Albuquerque Center, Bonanza 367, Hotel Papa, 12000. And the number is 367, Hotel Papa. Are you able, 14000 uh, for some military airspace that is active south of that weather? Uh, it's about Papa negative. Roger. The number is 367, Hotel Papa. Um, if I take it south of the precip, it's going to be a well, it's going to be effective for a while because of that military airspace. It could take you north of it uh, if you want to do that. Yeah, so for 7 Hotel Pop, is the, the military airspace, is that just that uh, Pecos High North, or uh, yeah, Pecos North High MOA? Number 7 Hotel Pop, no, it's east of, uh, if you know where Taiban is, it's east of that. It's 5104 Alpha, active uh, to flight level 180, and then um, there's more, so it's east of that, that's uh, 12,000 below. Okay, how far south do you show the precip going? Does it end uh, before, like, Foxtrot Sierra Uniform, or does it extend further south? My 7 Hotel Papa, I show from a Corona, it would be about a 080 heading for about uh, 70, well, about 80 miles. Albuquerque, Spare Wings 468. Spare 468, go ahead. Yeah, people been clearing this weather up ahead of us at 370, or should we go around it? Spring 468, I do have um, some aircraft that are going over it uh, at 360. Um, I haven't had anyone 370 for a little while, but I just have to come through about by level 360. And November 7, Hotel Papa, if you go north of that precip, there's no military space actors up there, and uh, I can give you a fix that I was going to send you towards and then um, liberal after that. The next sector says that they are um, going to be deactivating that area with fueling trucks, so that one should be no factor, but uh, you're going to need to be on that heading for at least uh, probably about 50 to 60 miles and then uh, direct Wichita VOR, we can do that, then direct the airport. So, yeah, I think that sounds good, thank you. November 367 Hotel Papa, contact Albuquerque Center 132.32 and uh, they'll help you navigate around the precepts. 132327 Hotel Papa, thanks for the help, good night. Albuquerque Center Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa 12000 heading 090 vector around the weather. 
November 367 Hotel Papa, Albuquerque Center, Roger. Trim right to a heading of a 105, that vector's for ship clear, please. Okay, right 105, seven Hotel Papa. In November 7, Hotel Papa, just be advised if you look at your charge point, take you just south of Rashida 5104 Alpha and Bravo, and then uh, take you up from there. That'll avoid the restricted area as well as all that weather north of it. Yeah, so probably if we went uh, kind of just north of uh, 5104 Alpha, uh, over like 5105, would that, does that look like that would work with the weather as well? Seven Hotel Papa, I wouldn't advise doing that, and uh, the reason being is if we run into a situation where you get into an overhang you've got to move out of the way for, uh, it's either going to put you left in the weather or right into a bombing range, and I don't want you guys to end up in that, uh, in that bad situation. Right there, it doesn't give you a lot of wiggle room to get out of it. Yep, we should have just stayed on our uh, original route. That probably would have been better. We'll save some time and heading, but I didn't know they were going to take us this far south. November 367, Hotel Papa, Kanta, Cannon Approach, 118.42. 118.42, good night. Okay, so now we are on course direct to Wichita, just a straight shot, smooth sailing from here. No more weather to worry about, that's all off course to the left now. And uh, we'll be there in about two hours, and we've got just over three hours of fuel, so we're still sitting pretty. It will be a uh, about a six hour flight when it's all said and done. Okay, now I'm gonna get my shoes off. I'm gonna rest my feet up here. It's actually, it's not the very most comfortable thing, but it just, uh, you really make sure that that blood's flowing. I'm not gonna end up pooling in my legs. Okay, so we're expecting some wind shear coming into Wichita. Wind surface winds right now are uh, 180 at 15, gusting 24. Forecast to be 180 at 17. The winds at 2,000 feet, 210 at 52. Approach Bonanza 7 Hotel Papa has the airport. Number 367 Hotel Papa, cleared visual approach and clear to land. Runway 1 on a right, remain this frequency. You park on Bombardier. That's affirmative. We're cleared visual and uh, clear to land. 1 on a right, 7 Hotel Papa. And the winds are delivering as promised. It's 220 at 44 right here. Expecting that to pick up just a little bit more and then drop off rapidly as we come into land. A nice moon there. Okay, so we'll keep this fairly tight here, go full flaps. The 10 knot gusts, so we'll keep about an extra 5 knots. Interesting. So, by the time you guys see this video, I will have already posted these uh, videos, like flying the Global 7500 sim tomorrow, and then like looking at their test flight program. So go check those out. Link below, link here, and yeah, tons of fun adventures to share with you guys.